Good evening and welcome to St Thomas as we join together for our evening prayer. My name's Eleanor and I'm one of the worship leaders at St Thomas. It's so good to welcome you to join with us for prayer this evening and I hope you find this time a blessing to you. So for those who've not joined with us before I'll tell you how what we're going to do. We'll start with a little time of quiet with reflection so that we can really reflect on our day and just calm and come into this time. Then we will have a reading and a thought of the day and we'll end with some prayer. You might want to put some music on or to have a candle. Whatever will help you is absolutely fine. So we will start with Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 the eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end amen our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth so now we'll have a short pause so we can reflect on the day that is past. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Today's reading comes from 1 John, chapter 4, and it is verses 9 to 10 and verse 19. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. We love because he first loved us. Amen. We love because he first loved us. God loves us. However much we feel unlovable, however unworthy we feel, God loves us. Have you ever told someone else about God's love? Have you ever shared God's love with someone who never knew about it? As a teenager, I was very, very lucky. A person I was speaking to on the internet told me about God's love. Before that, I didn't think anybody loved me other than my parents. And even then, I didn't believe I was worthy of love. I remember one of my most vivid memories from secondary school is having a girl come up to me and say, everybody hates you. And the fact was I believed it. But this reading reminds us that however unworthy of love we feel, however unlovable we feel, we are loved. We love because he first loved us. Can you share the love of God with someone else today or tomorrow or every day you never know who might need to hear those words he loves us it's easy to think nobody could love me even for those with family friends who are living with lots of people who 
have family so close to them may have days where they feel that nobody loves them and that's why as Christians it's so important for us to share the love of God because you don't know who in your life is feeling like nobody loves them. Love is what underpins us all and without it we can feel such hatred for ourselves. So please just share God's love because we love because he first loved us. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you that before we loved you, you loved us first. We recognise your love for us today and choose to love you too. Thank you for my friends. Please open my friends' eyes to your love and action for them. Merciful God, we entrust to you your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessed blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift all up who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, we pray that they may make wise decisions. Strengthen them with your spirit and give them wisdom. Amen.
for our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, in particular for new parents with young babies and children, give them a peaceful night as the current hot weather affects children's and babies' sleep. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and your love. For your name's sake, for a blessing on our local community, that our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Amen. Lord, for those on their own at this time, we pray they find ways to connect with others and with you so they do not feel lonely Fill them with your spirit and your love, so they know they are not alone. Amen. Lord, give peace to those suffering from mental health problems because of isolation. Hold them in your arms with your love and kindness. Amen. O Lord our God, source of all goodness and love, accept the fervent prayers of your people in the multitude of your mercies. Look with compassion upon all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And now we join our prayers together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
So that concludes our prayers. Feel free to continue putting comments on the Facebook and the YouTube of your prayer requests. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>